We have some new updates flowing in for Terra Luna Classic and uh, these are looking good to me and I basically want to share them with you in this video. So if you guys enjoy these Terra Classic updates, so you guys are bullish on this crypto, smash the thumbs up button in this video. And guys, let's get straight into it. So what have I seen over on Twitter? Have a look at this. Terra Rebels, Luna Classic community. We officially have our very own website up and running. Be sure to bookmark it, website terrorrebels.net. And if we jump over to the website, guys, this is looking very, very slick. So community-driven Terra Classic revitalization project. And uh, there's a bit of info about Terra Classic here. There's a bit of info about the team right there. On top of that, I would love to see some LinkedIn profiles if they can, because that will kind of take the website to the next level. They got links to the Discord, Twitter, GitHub. On top of that, they also have a link to the white paper as well. So there's a massive PDF on this website detailing the Terra Classic uh, white paper. So everything you need to know about Terra Classic in the white paper. And then on top of that, have a look at this signal at the top, guys. This section, roadmap coming soon. So what extra things can Terra Rebels add to the roadmap? Comment down below if you think of some things that you would want to see on the Terra Classic chain. Would you want to see a metaverse? Would you want to see a play to earn game? Would you want to see Voyager? virtual reality augmented reality comment down below what are some exciting projects you would like to see on the Terra Classic roadmap. But again, this is in development and you have to give credit where credit is due. So I said in the previous update for Terra Classic, you know, one thing we have to give credit to the Terra Rebels, uh, Edward Kim is, you know, they said they were gonna give us a 1.2% burn on chain. These guys delivered flawlessly. They delivered on time. There's been no massive uh, security breaches, errors, exploits, anything like that. And that's quite common in the crypto space. What you will find in crypto is a lot of projects, you know, they're either myths deadlines or when they deliver something can possibly go very very wrong these guys seem to be executing to the t right now which is a nice signal on top of that we also have qcoin deposits are open so that is a good signal right there and uh, also on top of that these guys are developing so quickly have a look at this lunar classic community you can use this site temporarily to swap lunar classic slash ustc and other coins so if i go to this website it's going to bring me up with like a primitive version of the Terra swap on the Luna Classic chain. So this is exactly what we want to see with this cryptocurrency on the on the Binance Smart Chain. You're going to find Ape Swap. You're going to find the Pancake Swap. You're going to find other types of swaps over the Binance Smart Chain. Ethereum. You're probably going to find Uniswap. Terra Swap seems to be up and running currently. So this is really good. These guys are moving lightning fast right now, and you can see here if I select the tokens, there's heaps of different. Uh, tokens combinations and uh, this is just uh, really good to see so again the more projects we get online the more real reason people have to you know swap around cryptos on the terra swap this is going to be good and you have to also remember with the terra swap it's going to open up opportunities for you know smaller cryptos out there to list on the terra swap and what's something you need to do to uh you know get your hands on some of these smaller cryptos that aren't on the big exchanges you're going to need luna classic to get onto them so remember one of the reasons uh, Binance Smart Chain went up so high is because people were trading on PancakeSwap. They wanted to, uh, you know, get the BNB off the centralized exchange. They wanted to go to PancakeSwap and they wanted to trade it for another cryptocurrency. So it's going to be interesting, guys. What cryptos are going to pop up on the TerraSwap that we need to get our hands on? Are there going to be exciting cryptos up there that can do 10x, 20x, 50x, 100x? Because I bet you if a crypto does come up onto the Terra Classic uh, chain that has big potential that the community you're interested in i bet you people will be buying up terra classic they'll be sending it over to the terra swap to trade around for another cryptocurrency so that is another good development happening with the terra rebels right now and again i have spoken to you guys about this so again the more on-chain activity we get for terra classic the more cryptos that flow onto this the more DeFi money that comes onto terra classic chain the better it is for this cryptocurrency but already terra rebels looking very strong and i expect these guys to basically continue to develop so so far they've had a really good a, a track record and we want to see more and more updates for these guys so very good stuff already if we do take a look at the lunar classic price guys it is holding up relatively well nearly around the 3000 zone so it, the, you guys can see there is a being a bit of volatility uh, but i have done a big crypto news update if you guys want to check out the big crypto news for today watch the previous video on the channel give you some macro updates but uh you know terra classic holding up strong 
uh, in the crypto market. And if you do take a look at some fundamentals, 1.74 billion market cap price looking volatile in the short term, just like every other crypto out there. And uh, volume on Binance, 186 million. The other cryptos in the tens of millions right there. So some good signals for Terra Classic. The rest of the crypto market, it's been volatile, but it seems to be picking up slightly just recently, uh, which is good to see. And if we do see how Terra Classic is going against the other cryptos in the crypto market, you guys can see here, Bitcoin's recovered slightly in the last 24 hours, but still down around 6% for the last seven days. The other cryptos, XRP is looking good today. And uh, where's Terra Classic sitting currently? So sitting around 32. So, uh, you know, shoulder to shoulder with ApeCoin right now, but again, knocking on the gates of the top 30 for this cryptocurrency. So things are still looking good. And if you guys want to purchase some Terra Classic, you can use my link to uh, MEXC right here. And uh, you can get some free bonuses uh, on sign up right there. But overall, some nice signals right now for Terra Classic. And if we do take a look also importantly, let's not forget about this one. Let's have a look at the Lunar Classic burn and uh, have a look at this, guys. We are up to about 100 million uh, Lunar Classic burnt. And this is good. So already up to about 100 million. Total burn around 4.24 billion according to this website. And again, what is the number that is important for us? So in my opinion, if we're not going Going to go on the spot volume of centralized exchanges uh, we're going to be focusing in now on this burnt with tax so the stuff i talked about at the start of the video you know, the Terra swap, uh, cryptos coming onto the chain, that is going to eat up a lot of the tax. So again, oh, we just crossed 100 million burnt for Terra Classic. So that is uh, massively exciting right there. And uh, this is the number you have to focus on. But again, this is going to be paired to the DeFi activity that I explained earlier in the video. But guys, that's a big update. If you guys appreciate it, smash the thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out. <laughs>